Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm gonna to share with you how to program the lock and unlock functions on your new Subaru. This will be applicable to the Subaru Outback and the Subaru Legacy because they share the same infotainment display or touchscreen display. This will also be applicable to the model years 2020, 2021, and 2022. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I make weekly Subaru videos to share tips and tricks with you guys on your new Subarus. If you enjoy videos like that, then please be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Also, if you guys learned something new today and get value out of this video, please be sure to click the like button. That really helps me out and I would greatly appreciate it. So what I'm gonna cover in this video today are two functions. The first one is whenever you're on the outside of the car and you're using this unlock button right here, the Subaru logo. Typically, by default, whenever you click that, it will only unlock the driver's side door. But say you wanna click that unlock button and you want all of your passenger doors to unlock as well, you actually have to program that. Otherwise, you have to click it a second time or click this button over here manually to unlock it there. The second function I wanna show you guys with the auto locking and unlocking abilities has to do with the shift lever. So whenever you put it into gear, the doors will automatically lock whenever you put it back in park, the doors will automatically unlock. But I'm gonna show you how to do that and more in this video. Starting with the keyless access key fob, I'm gonna show you how to program the lock and unlock button. To access this, you wanna to go to your home screen, click on settings. From settings, you're gonna to navigate to the right, click on car, and then from car, click on keyless entry system. There'll be four options that you can adjust here. So starting out, the audible signal. So this is just the sound it makes whenever you lock or unlock the car. You can turn that on and off here. The second option is the hazard warning flasher. So this will light up the hazard lights on the exterior of the car whenever you're locking or unlocking the car. Again, you can turn it on and off there. The third option is where you can set the driver door to lock or unlock with the remote key. So that's what I did at the very beginning. So you can set this to where it'll unlock all doors. So if you want your door and all of your passenger doors to unlock with just a single click of the unlock button right here, then you wanna select all. If you only want your driver's side door to unlock, then you just select this. By default from the factory, your Subaru should already be set to driver door only just as a security precaution because if you are getting in your car in a large parking lot, say at the grocery store or out shopping somewhere, you wanna be able to get in your car, make sure nobody else is getting in with you. So whenever you click that unlock button, it's only gonna allow access for you to get in. If somebody happens to be hiding on one of the other doors, they won't be able to get in because those doors will be locked. Only when it's selected as driver door only. If we go back down here to the fourth option, rear gate slash trunk unlock. So trunk unlock would be applicable to the legacy. So this is for the key fob. So the unlock button right here that will unlock all doors or just the power gate. So same functions as the door driver door unlock. You can go in here and do all doors or just the rear gate and trunk. So that's how you set up your keyless entry system with your key fob. Now I'm gonna show you how to access the lock and unlock functions automatically with your gear shift lever and vehicle speed. So we click on the X button. It'll take us back to this menu screen. We just scroll down, so it's on the same car setting screen. We scroll down where it says auto door lock slash unlock. So we click on that. And you can set the auto door lock to vehicle speed, or you can set it to whenever you shift in or out of park, or you can turn it off. So at the beginning of the video, I was showing you how that operates with shifting in or out of park. If you set it to vehicle speed, once you put it in gear, and take off and drive a certain speed, the doors will automatically lock. So the doors are unlocked right now. I'm gonna put it in drive and show you guys on vehicle speed how this works. So it looks like right around 10 miles an hour, the doors automatically lock. So that is how you set it up with vehicle speed. The same functionality is available under the auto door unlock. So you can do where it shifts into park or out of park, just like we did just before. You can also put it where whenever the driver door opens, all the other doors will unlock. So right now, if we lock the door and I unlock, now all of these doors will unlock as well. 
The third option is whenever you turn the ignition off that all of the doors will unlock. So we're gonna go ahead and lock the doors again. I'm gonna shut the car off and instantly all of your passenger doors unlock whenever the car is shut off. And the last feature is you can simply just turn this off if you don't like the auto door unlock function at all. So that is how you set up and program your auto lock and unlock functions for your new Subaru with the keyless access key fob. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.